What's up guys, it's Mario back again, aka Two Wheeled Rider. Anyway, back out on the Suzuki SV650 again tonight. Uh, I was at a conference earlier today, got out of work a little bit earlier than usual. So, uh, decided I was going to get the bike out and maybe go do right around 100 miles tonight. I'm at about 50 miles so far into my trip. And I'm going to have to pull over here pretty soon just to stretch and get off the bike a little bit. Right up through the mountains on uh, Route 50, uh, I'm getting ready to pull into, I guess technically I'm probably within the city limits of Romney, West Virginia. It's about 50 miles west of where I live. A lot of people commute from Romney down to Winchester, Virginia. So a lot of uh, commuters on their way home. It's still a really fun ride. I'm probably going to mix it up a little bit on the way back but uh, I think there's a sheets up here or something I'm gonna get pulled off to the side of the road get a little stretch maybe get a little something to drink it's about 5 30 I told Kristen I'd be home for dinner later so pork chops and apple sauce I'm not gonna spend too much time up here a pretty neat little town kind of a sleepy little town uh, most of the time, the only time I get up here is when I'm passing through on my way to, uh, you know, some state parks or, or something in West Virginia, or I'm, or I'm headed down to the southern part of the state. Sometimes I'll cut through here. But it is, like most of West Virginia, some really, really good riding. So if you guys are ever in my neck of the woods, hit me up, and uh, maybe, we could do, maybe we could do a little riding together. Alright, got a nice little stretch back there at, uh, at Sheets. Now, uh, decided to take a little bit different route home. I have to backtrack maybe five miles or so. And then take, take a little bit different route to, uh, to get back to the house. I think it's a little bit longer. Um, it's about 63 miles up here. I think it's about maybe... 68 miles back. Just something different. Another fun road to ride on. You guys may have seen it over there on my left is the uh, West Virginia School for the for the Deaf and Blind. I used to have an aunt, great aunt, that uh, that taught there. She she uh, I don't I know she knew sign language. I don't know exactly what what subject she taught. Then again, she might have actually taught sign language. So. So this has nothing to do with riding, but got, got kind of a funny story. So I was at the conference today, got out for a break, checked my phone, hopped on Snapchat. Uh, I see Kristen's got her uh, story going on Snapchat with some uh, with some funny stuff. So let's just put it that way. I'm gonna see if I can get her to download it, so maybe I can maybe I can upload it for you into this video. Let me just explain to you what happened. First off, she grew up, we'll just say much closer to the city. I grew up in West Virginia, kind of a rural area. So, got a little bit of a culture difference when she moved out here. Uh, anyway, I don't know the full story. This is what I saw, saw on Snapchat. She works from home on Tuesdays. And uh, I click on her Snapchat story and see a bird flying around inside my house. So I'm going on the assumption that she left the window open because we do let the cat outside and it was nice out today so probably just left the window open so the cat could get back in instead of bird flew in. I guess she did get the bird out of the house. Of course when I get home this evening the bird is still flying around in my garage and he'd actually taken a shit on, <laughs> on the back seat of my bike so I got that cleaned up. Anyway, as I was pulling my truck out of the garage to, to get the SV out, I honked the horn. I guess that scared the bird enough that he flew out. So the bird's gone. Anyway, to go along on this Snapchat story, we got the bird. Next thing I see is the cat dragging a snake. And I guess she stopped him before he decided to drag the snake through the open window with him when he was going to come back in the house. Uh, so then the next uh, the next thing you see the snake laying out on the on the porch 
and I don't really know what happened to the snake at that point. So needless to say, I guess this weekend, in addition to hopefully getting the bike out and going somewhere, I'm gonna have to put the, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the screens back in the windows. So anyway, uh, hopefully hopefully I can put that video up for you guys to share that because I found that pretty funny and. And hopefully you guys do too. Just one more quick story for you and then I'm going to flip this camera off and just enjoy the rest of my ride back home. It is starting to cool down just a little bit. I've got my my mesh summer riding jacket on. I just have a t-shirt on underneath. So I think I'm going to be alright. I'm definitely going to get home well before the sun goes down. But anyway, just one more thing I want to share with you guys. I was taking my son home. Uh, he lives with his mom. I was taking him home the other night. And we took the FJR because he had a backpack. And we, we threw that in the trunk. Anyway. As I'm coming back down this road, I see a rabbit run out in front of me. Well, I didn't think much of it, and then the rabbit, you can see, it's going to be close as to whether or not we're going we're gonna to have an impact with this rabbit. Well, he jumps at the last second, hits my front fender as he, as he jumps across the road. Now, I take it he's okay, but still a little bit of an impact on the front fender, so I, I pulled the bike over and uh, had a little bit of his uh, cotton tail left on my front fender. So I'm just going to leave you guys with this question. Have you guys had any run-ins with animals while you're out on your motorcycles? Whether you've hit one, you've had a near miss, uh, one's hit you, or maybe you just run over one. Anyway, comment below. I'm looking forward to us uh, hearing, hearing what kind of run-ins you guys have had. Uh, I've had some additional ones. Maybe I'll share those in later videos, but that one just happened uh, on Sunday, so kind of a kind of an interesting thing. Anyway, safe riding, guys. Talk to you all again soon.